Hi friends, I am Shekhar Srinivasan, Managing Director, LS Solutions Private Limited, .NET Trainer and an Architect. In this video, I will explain a brief introduction about what is ASP.NET MVC. Now, ASP.NET MVC is a new project type which is used for developing websites with the support of HTML, JavaScript, CSS and also .NET language. This is not a replacement for ASP.NET web forms. This is just an option for developing the websites with the support of MVC design pattern. So what does MVC means? It stands for model view and controllers this is what we call it as MVC which stands for model view controllers what is the advantage that we get when we go for MVC it means separation of concern which means that we can decouple the things and we can concentrate on our requirement in a proper manner. We can just try to separate the business logic, the user interface and the data layer. If we try to observe this MVC, view takes the responsibility of user interface whereas controllers takes the responsibility of the user inputs and model takes the responsibility of the business logic now we can able to separate the functionalities into three different layers and, and every individual user can concentrate on their task. For example, one person will be concentrating only on the UI without considering about the inputs. And the other person will concentrate on the input and the per other person can concentrate on the business logic. Whenever we try to observe this particular model, how this MVC works is, Always we try to submit a request for the controllers. Controllers takes the input and it can provide the result directly. Whenever a request is being given for a controller, a controller if it requires the logic to be processed and the data is required then controller can interact with the model and provides that particular model information to the view. And in order to render the information, view can interact with the model and view renders the final output. In this way, a basic MVC flow works. Once we have a clear idea on the basic ASP.NET MVC flow, now let's try to understand the complete ASP.NET MVC request flow. Whenever a client sends a request, then the request will be given for the Okay, once a client is going to send a request, the request will be given for the HTTP routing. Once the request is taken by the HTTP routing, the request will be submitted to the route. Route takes the request and it will try to submit a request to the route handlers who 
once the route handlers has taken that particular request it will try to submit a request for the http handlers for further processing http handlers takes the request and it will try to submit a request to the controllers controllers receives the request and it will try to submit a request to the view engine view engine once the request is been taken then it will try to identify the relevant view and it will try to render the response back to the client so whenever a asp.net mvc page has been requested the complete flow or the request flow will be in this field hope you are clear with this particular request flow so when we have to go for asp.net mvc means when we think about we wanted to separate the code business logic user interface the data layer in a proper manner we mainly concentrate on unit testing whenever we wanted to have the complete control on the user interfaces and we wanted to build a rich web applications then we can take the support of asp.net mvc so what asp.net mvc is not means this is not a replacement for asp.net web forms this is not an enhancement for asp.net web forms mvc is built top on that ASP.NET web form controls we cannot use it on MVC. In MVC, we depend upon some HTML elements as well as helpers for providing the user interfaces. This video provides a simple explanation or demo to understand what is MVC. In the next video, I will try to explain in detail what is url routing how the routing happens in the mvc and how the controllers works how a request will be sent to the controllers how the response you are going to get hope you had an idea on what is mvc thank you